the psalmist wrote, I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. In a year marked by so much suffering and hardship, it felt more important than ever to ask the simple question, what are you thankful for? And as it turns out, we have much to be thankful for this year. We are thankful for the beauty of creation, for the leaves that change colors in the fall, for the reminders of God's goodness and glory all around us. We are thankful for the places we call home, where we feel safe and at peace, for food on the table and the nourishment it provides. We are thankful for friends, for people with whom we laugh, cry, play, and live, people we can count on no matter what. We are thankful for our pets, for their constant loyalty and companionship and the happiness they bring. We are thankful for celebrations in the midst of turmoil, for the reminder that life is both bitter and sweet, and that God is present in all of it. We are thankful for this community of faith and our church family. We are grateful for the chance to worship together in new ways and for small moments of connection during this time apart. We are thankful for family, for the blessing of grandparents, children, parents, brothers and sisters, and cousins. We give thanks for the new life we have welcomed this year, for the reminder that even now, God is making all things new. Yes, God has blessed us in so many ways, and we are thankful for all God has done and all he will continue to do. We give thanks with our whole hearts and our lives. Thanks be to God. <laughs>